Question 14 is all about being able to read a scale. So it says, Joe places some apples on a weighing scale. The pointer shows the mass of the apples. Now, with any scale question, whether it's a round scale like this, or whether it's a, a, a horizontal flat scale or a vertical scale, you've basically got to understand what each small gap on the scale is worth. And if you can't do that, you're going to have trouble reading the scale. So, let's have a look at this. Now, when we go from 0 to 100, that obviously is a gap of 100. But there are five little mini gaps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, if you split 100 into five little mini gaps, you're going to get 20 in each gap. So, each little mini gap is worth 20. Okay, so let's just double check that. So if we start on 0 and go up in 20s, we go 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300. And that will work all the way around the scale, including when we get to here. So these little gaps were 20. So this, this first one after 7 must be 720, 740. 760 so that arrow is pointing to 760 grams okay now let's scroll down and see what we've got to do it says he takes one apple the mass goes down by 120 grams draw the pointer in its new position on the scale below well if it's going to go down by 120 grams okay we already know that this is worth 760. So if we do 760, take away 120 grams. It's got to be take away because it's going down. 0 take away 0 is 0. 6 take away 2 is 4. 7 take away 1 is 6. So when it's gone down by 120 grams, it's going to be left on 640 grams. So we've got to draw the pointer in its new position. So there's 600. Remember, each gap goes up in 20s. So we're going up in 20s. So if that's 600, this will be 620. This will be 640. And that's what we're looking for. So the arrow has got to be there to 640. Okay. There is actually another way you could have done that. Let me just get a different colour so we don't confuse ourselves. If we were starting on 760, which is here, and we know that we've got to go down by 120 grams, if each gap is worth 20, we could have counted up in 20s. So the next gap down would be 20, then 40, then 60, then 80, then 100, and then 120, which would have got me to this point. But as you can see, whichever way I do it, the arrow is going to be in the same place. It's got to go there. So that is your answer.